People very often ask me how I became to be a landscape architect. And it's a really very nice and interesting experience that I had. Um, we were at the University of Wisconsin at the time. I met Anna at the university. I was a TA there and she was getting a degree in, in dance. It was a very remarkable uh, department there. And so we were married, uh, living in Wisconsin, and uh, I've heard that there's a remarkable architect around here, and uh, why that he has a place. And she said, why don't we go over and visit there, see what it's like, and after all, you're a painter, and you'd probably be interested in his art as an art form. And so I said, sure, let's do that. So we hopped in the car. We drove over to Taliesin East, where he had a house that was on a place that his family had owned. On a, and he had a, a school there. And as we got closer, uh, we, un, we parked and got out and there was a lintel over the door and and the lintel said what a man does that is who he is and I said wow I had never thought about that that's pretty interesting and then we went inside and it was the weekend and he was sitting at the piano diddling along and there was some music and all of a sudden I could hear these trumpets going and these, these trumpets were my trumpets about, my goodness, look at all this wonderful stuff that is being done here. And I managed to go into the drafting room and there were a lot of students there working away. And I thought, my goodness, if this is what architecture is, I realize all of a sudden that the cathedrals and other things in Europe were being made by people like him. I said, maybe I'll look into that more. So uh, at the end of the day, I walked over and said goodbye. Thanks so much for letting me come in. He said, that's fine. And I, Anna said to me, that, that was fascinating. Why did you look up architecture in the library? So I did. It was still time to look into the library at the school. And uh, I did, found all kinds of things about architecture. And then towards the end of the architecture, there was a thing called landscape architecture and a book by Christopher Tunnock. And I took it out and I read it. And I thought, oh, my God, it's all about communities the designer communities, the social social implications of what you design, how you can make cities into remarkable places for people to live in, and uh, the, the sense of community that I had never seen since I was in, in the kibbutz in Israel. And so I thought to myself, my God, landscape architecture, I better look into that. So. It let me into a class, and uh, after about a week, apparently Longenecker talked to Oust, and he said, apparently, this kid is a, uh, it's like a duck in water, and we, uh, we don't have enough really pizzazz to be able to get him what he needs to have. So I just dropped into Oust, and I said, look, Larry, as I understand it, Longenecker thinks you ought to go to Harvard and uh, study there because they're much better at it, uh, a um, scholarship there. And I said, wow. <laughs> and two days later, he called me up and he said, come on over, I want to talk to you. And he said, you've got a scholarship at Harvard. You better go and do it. That's what you ought to be. Ever since then, I've been a landscape architect. Thank God.